my mother that influenced me the most. She's very, uh, uh, what they call, bumochata. So that's why I am, I find work. If there's no work, I look for work. Uh, she's, the mother, she's the kind of woman that will teach us to work hard and also to, uh, you know, to, she kind of makes sure that all of us has chores to do around the house. There's somebody, because I grew up in a big family, so there's chores for us to do, somebody to take care of the little kids, somebody to wash the clothes, somebody to iron. Because like I said, growing up, I, w I came from a poor home, you know, we don't have electricity at that time, so we ironed by the, with the, the, uh, the iron that you put charcoal inside, we wash by hand, we cook our food in, on, on top of a, you know, a, a wood stove where we will go and get the wood ourselves as children and uh, take, bring it home. And that's what my mother used to cook with. And then at the same time, we don't have running water. We have to get the water from the city in a drum and then come home and take it inside the house for us to use, you know, to, to cook and to, um, to wash with. So, like I say, I grew up in a home where my mother really showed us how to work hard and at the same time, she always tells us that uh, even, you know, to be honest, to be honest, because, you know, she said, even if you see something that is being thrown away, if, if it's not yours, don't take it. Even, like I say, something that, you know, people threw away. But my mom always tells us honesty is the best policy. If it's not yours, don't take it.